Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and. You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, he'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game? Some barn I turned out to be. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Need to build up my calluses. Approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin her mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. <laughs>
<laughs> oh yeah, you remember that dealer who asked about the emitters? After you left, he... <laughs> he leans over me, and he says, Uh, w w what do you need these for, then? I am Groot. <laughs> yeah, like I'm turning the Milano into a dance club or something. Please refrain from creating this club of dance. Yeah, yeah, we all know how you feel about dancing. I am Groot. Well, what was I supposed to tell him? Uh, you know, I, uh, need them to build, uh, some ultrasonic lore so my team of ex-cons can trap a mystery creature in the most, uh, legal place in the quadrant. You wanna throw in a discount? <laughs> Excited to meet our buyer after we catch the monster? Of course. Lady Hellbender is a legendary warrior and a noble. Mora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. Ah. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Okay, here we go. Rocket, Groot, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. And if we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. Let it 
Appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. 0451. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate temporal co coordinates and our ship's hard-coded serial into a local number generator. Info gets in, digits come out. Four of them. Yeah. <sighs> Oops. All right, not that one. Are you having difficulties, Peter Quill? Zero, four, five, one. Two, two, one, eight. No. Do not confuse him, Rodent. There. Restraint wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Eh, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Ronit. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the monster queen of Seknoff Nile than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <clears throat> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group Quell Soda. Team Rockets up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks to the drop site. Ground's too unstable to land the ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. My baby. It's a ship eater, not a child. Oh! oh. Can you imagine? I am Groot. What? A pink coup? It's custom nano rest, designed to keep all this war stuff from floating away. How many of these ships did you personally destroy, Assassin? In this massive junkyard, filled with debris from both sides of the war. Nah, it's totally safe. Now, can we please focus less on the toxic goo and more on all this cool war junk it's holding together? Visor works. Sure it works. I checked it right before we left. Did you just put checked it in quotes? What? No. Just imagine what kind of blasters the Shatari had to use to wreck some of these frigates. I'm not being insensitive. I'm curious. 
I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that span the entire galaxy held together by... pink goo. Ebrium-based nanoresin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. You know, I think I do sort of get it. Thousands of worlds fighting for some fleeting greater good. Oh, look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacor frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy? Why'd he even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like, don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, sure we'll get money, but... Also, a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster she's interested in, not just any old critter. Which is why we should have gone after Fin Fang Foom. We won't impress no one if we're dead. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you-know-who joined us. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. Quill's a swell guy. I hope you get that promotion, Rocket. Come on, Rocket. Drax and Gamora are valued additions to the team. You're only saying that because she's listening. Is that why your plan has Drax and I taking the ship? Maybe. Hey, can't a guy want to spend some quality time with his friends? Whoa! Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Eh, uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Path's this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey. Groot, you think we can find pieces of the Trion Shard in here? I'm Groot. You never heard of the Trion Shard? How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. I heard Novacor once wanted to cover entire planets in Novacor. Oh, uh, Watch it, Quill! Uh, uh, take that, brittle stuff! Ugh, I hate these ship-eating parasites. Flarkas would shoot right through the Milano in two cycles. <laughs> <laughs> nice splatter. Hey, 50 units says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? 
Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to wonder what happened to anyone working on these old wrecks. It was a long time ago anyways. Ah! Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's twitching. Larkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... Thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Nova Corps missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it. Okay. Crawling through creepy old ship. No big deal. Easy there, Quill. Pretty sure nothing's gonna jump out at you. Except maybe me and Groot. It is good to be doing physical labor again. Kinda hard to believe you were a farmer. I was a warrior. Working the soil can be as satisfying as battle. I really doubt pulling weeds is as good as pulling height. I shot something, like you said. I've got a way forward. See? Never fails. <laughs> Ooh, don't die, don't die, don't die. Aw, oh, hey little guy. this again. on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. Yeah, she did smell like flowers. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places and we'll bag that money. Mother of Scott! Move! Are you kidding me? That was 
too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for me all the time. All right, Groot. Let's see that cool viney thing. It's one hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross! More ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. We gotta go that way, across the gap. Somehow. So what do I gotta do to get a last name like Drax's? Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there, you will let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do with Ryan from the Nova Patrol. Uh, we'll restrain them until you're done here. Bad idea. Those cops are all connected through their stupid helmets. If, if you see cops, you get my ship out of here. Even if it means leaving us behind. Uh, flark that! Trust me, I've dealt with Nova Corps before. Even helped them catch real criminals. I can talk my way out. You think that Milano can outrun a fully powered Nova Centurion? I agree. Okay, here we go. Alright, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No! No! Flark and Skaggy! Kratak and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay, we're on what's left of a ship. Full of ship things. Gotta be things that power ship things around here, right? Yeah. Maybe you're gonna want to use your visor for this. You find a replacement while I finish scraping the fried wires. There ain't any plants here. It's a junkyard. I am Groot. Plants grow where they got food. This place is nothing but scrap and nano resin. And no, they couldn't live off the goo. Huh. Got an oxygen pump here. No good. It would draw power directly from the ship. <laughs> hey! A huge power generator! How do we hook it up? We don't! That thing would toast our little thumper. Can't we condense the power through a routing funnel or something? Don't try to make up tech stuff. It's irritating. Find something else. Nope. Nova Centurions probably had to tow all the scrap to one place. Sure, not really their job description, but Nova was spread pretty thin after the war. Hey, kept them off of my tail at least. Found a compressor! No charge! Ah, uh, no charge, no good. Do I look worried? The resin will hold. You ain't that heavy. I seen this goop anchor a Shatari Dreadnought. We'll be fine. All this firepower. Now it's all just scrap. 
Yeah. Sorry, bud. Sorry about what? Groot's people never even got a chance to fight. Old Destin Planet was torched at the start of the war. Can you use this missile? Sure I can, to blow us to pieces. Keep looking! Gamora, when are you gonna share your contacts and sources? When will you share yours? What? You know about all my guys. Only that you've got a guy that makes the booms, you've got a guy who can reconstruct faces, you've got a guy who never says no. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that guy. And hey, it ain't my fault they ain't no good with names, but I can always place a face. Unless my face guy gets a hold of me. Of course it's the worst space ration flavor. This one tastes like dollar store cat food. It makes her teeth oily. Well, come on, man. How do we know the monster we're looking for ain't one of these things we already killed? If it were worthy of Lady Hellbender's collection, it would not die so easily. Hope we know this thing when we see it and not after we stopped it. Any bets on what this monster's gonna look like? How many legs? Like, uh, more than four? It will be majestic. What does that look like? We shall see. We're going the right way. Just keep your eyes on that mining ship. That's where we want to end up. What's a mining ship doing in the middle of all these fighters anyway? Eh, they don't call them casualties of war for nothing. gonna zap me, right? The chance is... minuscule. At best. You'll be fine. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So, uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! Oh, no, no, Scott! If I don't rewire this fast, Another one! 
done. We're all plugged in. Wow. Just in time. I'd like to see you fix it. It next time. Come on, two down, two to go. I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Well, we found a way out. I'm Groot. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? Guys. We deliver this monster to Lady Hellbender, we'll get bigger payouts, and jobs that don't suck. A ship for each one of us! I mean, a team only needs one ship. Perhaps a more spacious ship. What? No! I love my baby! We can modify her. I'd kill for a gutter's rotunda. We'll think about it. I'm Groot. Groot wants a plant. Man! That thing is ridiculous! I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a Cree Sentry, a robot, but it would have been space work. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. They designed at least five experimental models twice that size. How do you know all this? Because they were my fellow experiments back on Half-World. Most of my parts came from the cybernetics hangar next to the door, so uh, I got a sneak peek at all the new killbots. I could see the parts come and go from my, uh, uh, my cage. I didn't mean to open old wounds. Eh, most of them are just scars now anyways. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. The entire facility was the problem. I wish I'd gone back and blown it up at the end of the war. I can hear your visor working. Better not be cheating on our bet quilt. How can you hear that? Groot, need you to shoot a bridge right into that eye socket. Now, I want to see you do that to something in combat. Wait, is that? Yes! I'm about to win this bet quilt! There goes nothing. <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Bam! <laughs> hey, Groot, what do you think I should do when I win this back? <laughs> I mean, with the units he'll owe me once I win. <laughs> Don't congratulate him. Well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Found a nest! Maybe this is the Parasite Clubhouse! How's that bed going over there? I am crushing this! Just you wait! You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. Oh, it's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flipped the switch on and off to see if it started. Yeah, tell them that. Gotta love that kill rate. Easy for you to say! You've got a pointy stick! Oh yeah! I'm gonna murderize the lot of you! Just watch when- 
where you're shooting! Darn it! I thought we were safe! Oh, come on! Now we gotta deal with chunk slugs? Don't gawk at it! Shoot it! Very helpful, thanks! You're welcome! Now stop distracting me! Ow. Watch it, Quill! That slime is not a good time! like that time! Ha! Brutify a fruit! <laughs> At least they make a good splat! Ah! Amateur! Oh, it's like popping a zit! Move it! Take this! And that! I've gotten way more! Back to the roads, Motel! Make like a tree! How are there this many of them? About to be one less! Nice splatter, Rocket! I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on! Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. Double agent is trying to follow me into a false sense of security. Right. And the moment you drop your guard, I'll strike. Aha! So you admit it. You got me. My plans are foiled. All right. Mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. Come on, Groot. We need to get across here. A rocket wouldn't put you at risk, right? I am that's right. I've always got your back, bud. Nah, it just looks unstable like everything else in here. Don't get your twigs in a bundle. Yes! The resin can hold a stupid warship. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Rocket? Oh, fuck. Guys, jump! Oh, oh, no! Oh, ah! Saving me! I love you too, you selfless son of a chug. Come on, Quill. Cool. He says I'll meet us at the mining ship. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? We're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Groot's signal just went dark. Flock. His radio must have broke when he fell. Uh, group just took a different path. He must have fell and broke his radio. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why take a different path? Team Rocket over! <laughs> Hope that got rid of him. <sighs> Sounds like Green Team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Group's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. 
Not like I could have prevented that old rusted ship from keeling over. Hey, what's grosser than ten Shatari nailed to a ship? I don't know, what? One Shatari nailed to ten ships! <laughs> nice! Ah! Man! If that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast! Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Turbine's right in the way. Gotta get through it. <laughs>